Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're gonna be looking at how to find multiples of numbers. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, when we talk about multiples, most people kind of start thinking about factors. They always get mixed up with this. Uh, multiples of numbers, it's, um, think about it like this. Like, I mean, once I start writing it, you'll understand what it is. So if I was to write down multiples of six, uh, multiples of six are basically, uh, let's see, we're gonna have six, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on. Basically, it's just looking at the times table of the six, and you know how you get that final answer. Those are all multiples of that numbers or of six. So if you look at five, I'm gonna get like five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 20, 25, and so on. And likewise with 10, uh, I'm gonna get 10, uh, 20, 30, 40, and I just gonna keep on going. And finally looking at the last one, which is eight. So you've got eight, 16, 24, 32, and literally just keeps keeps going. Now this is multiples in order. Sometimes you might get a question where they say, oh, give us two examples for multiples of six. Uh, you, you could say something like this. You might actually say, well, 606 is a multiple of six. Well, how do I know that? If I do 606 divided by six, I should get a, a whole number, which is 101. So yeah, so 606 is a multiple of six. If I look at five, um, and here's a good little tip for you. If any number ends with a five or a zero, then it's automatically a multiple of five. Because think about it, because it kind of goes like five, 10, 15, 20, you know, you can see the pattern of those numbers. You're gonna have, especially looking at, um, the ones column so you get five and then you get 10 and then you get 15 and then you go back to 20 uh, 25 and so on so if i was to give you a number like say for example i don't know 725 now because that last digit there is a five we can actually say that this is going to be a multiple of five and likewise when it comes to the 10 uh, as long as the number is um, ending with a zero it will become a multiple of 10. Now let's just look at that 725. So if I do 725 divided by five, that should give me a whole number, which is, um, I got 145. So that means I'm, I'm, I'm good. That's a multiple of five there. And likewise here, so I might choose something like 8,090. And 8,090 is a multiple of 10 because all those last digits of multiples of tens will have a zero. So if I actually do 8,090 divided by 10, I should get um, 809. And there we go, that's our 809. Now as for the eight, it's, you know, th th there's a couple of extra rules, but I'm, I'll, I might actually go through it in another video. But um, generally, generally speaking, it's, um, it's, it's a little bit more complex, but like, I'm, I'm not gonna confuse you guys right now. But let's kind of do a real simple one, 888. Uh, well, actually, no, let's go 896. 896, we wanna know if this is a multiple of eight. Then all you have to do is just go 896 divided by eight. And as long as this number here is not a decimal, you're pretty much good to go. Then it's a multiple of eight. So this is a 896 is a multiple of eight because 112 times eight is 896. Now, what if I actually say something like 922? Again, if I want to know if that's a multiple of eight, I would actually have to go 922 divided by eight. Uh, and as you can see, that's actually giving me a decimal value. And because it's giving me a decimal value, 922 is actually not a multiple of eight. That is just a, a really quick video on um, just what multiples are. And it is fairly useful to remember this because you will be using this for fractions and uh, lowest common multiples, which I'll go through in this series. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision. And as always, thank you for watching.